guys, you can be a down. I'm back with another video for y'all. Would you get down? Ah. Hey, it's your girl NBA Dawn. I'm back with another video for y'all. If you're a returner, welcome back. If you're new, hey. What is it, Moon? Why are you so excited? Do not jump on me. Stop. Stop. You do this every time I make a video. Okay. So today we're going to be making hamburger steak with gravy and mashed potatoes and I chose to do another side of corn so I got this already out I'm gonna go ahead and get like my seasonings and stuff together and I'm gonna just cook with y'all and just give y'all update on like how the past week's been going for me so instead of using um hamburger meat I had ended up getting some deer meat that's what it says uh from back home you know i'm country so gotta have some deer meat i really want to make some deer chili but i don't know i'm gonna get around to that like it's starting to warm back up now but like that's not gonna stop me like i'm still gonna make some chili if i want to and i like it spicy too so i have onion soup mix and i have onion mushroom soup mix i'm gonna go ahead and just use this Mushroom, onion mushroom soup mix, just so I can like get rid of it. And like, I'm gonna add some extra seasoning in my stuff. I don't know if y'all can tell, but like my voice is trying to leave. Like, like I'm going through puberty or something, but I ain't going through puberty. Like, I think I'm done growing and all that. Like, I'm gonna be this forever. So, I know. One thing, I'm gonna need a stepping stool or something because this ain't gonna work. working a 12 hour shift today and i'll be so tired like this week has already been hectic like i've been uh going to class like i'm in 15 hours this semester and then like on top of that i'm working a full-time job it's just a lot and but i know it's uh the better like, it's all gonna work out. I need to do that. Last week, um, Since deer meat doesn't like really have a lot of fat, look at it in the background. <laughs> but since like deer meat doesn't have a lot of fat, I'm gonna use like a little oil in the skillet so like it won't burn the skillet and burn the meat at the same time with the fire. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. Like, I did wash it before, like, I started this video, but I'm gonna just go ahead and wash it again so y'all know I'm clean. Let's 
scratch my arm up, jumping on me. Let me clip your nails. I don't know if I can see my shirt. This is like, I got this shirt when uh, I turned 21. And like, mothers and stuff already coming off of it. Okay, so here's the dirty meat, and we're gonna go ahead and season it. something weird since I'm gonna be working 12 hours today I have somebody watching AK and they're gonna be coming over so I decided to cook for them as well I mean like this, this is enough meat for two people I was just trying to stretch it to see if we can make four patties I hate these seals. Uh, like, why can't they at least like have a little flap or something so I could open it easily? Like, dang. So, I just seasoned it with the onion mushroom lips and soup mix, some garlic powder, onion powder, and some sloppy mama. I love sloppy mama. Like, I use that for everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and mix all it together. My theory is season it until your ancestors tell you to stop. But when you start sneezing, that's enough. But for me, it's my ancestors. Because I don't need to be sneezing. Especially if I love the food anyway. good at using my left hand it's like it'd be stiff it'd be real stiff okay so once that's mixed well then we're going to go ahead and make patties out of them I'm just gonna lay right behind me. I ain't mean to step on them, so I might be able to make uh more than just four. Okay. Mm. 
make them I'm making them like small small medium size that way it's like enough to eat and like once you finish this one you can always grab another one so yeah If y'all never had deer meat, it's so good. Like, I've had people say they'll never try deer meat or they never had it. They don't like it. I mean, like, how can you not like something that you never tried it? Like, I remember one time, uh, one of my brothers, well, they exes now. Or is it Actually... You know what? I'm not even going to say their business like that. But anyway, the girl, she was like, uh, she never had deer before. She don't like deer. And my grandparents was like, oh, okay. Not mentioning, like, they had fixed deer that day. I think it was, I think it was deer steak or deer chili. I can't even remember but they tried it, and when I tell you, like, they fucked that shit up, like, <laughs> like, my uh, grandparents, they was like, how did it taste? And they was like, it's so good. And, like, they was like, I know. And they didn't tell her it was there till after she finished, like, her whole plate. Like, that plate was clean. Like, that was so funny. That's why I was like, don't knock it till you try it. And then also, like, not everybody know how to cook. So, I mean, like, if you find somebody that know how to cook it right, that'll change your mind real quick. Like, like my dad, he used to then eat greens until he made my mom. Now he eat them all the time. I thought I was gonna be able to make four at the minimum, but I really ended up making six. I didn't think it would be that much. Okay, so now I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. I cut myself on my hand and what is it? Okay, so now we're gonna go to the stove. Finna go ahead and cook the hamburger meat. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan. Making so 
much noise. Stop. Like having a dog, I swear, it's like having a little kid. Like you say, stop. No, like 15 times a day. Like it's just becoming a routine. Jeez. I'm cooking it on low medium heat. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and so while that's frying, I'm gonna still check it to make sure like it doesn't burn. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut not half well i'm gonna cut it in half but i'm gonna use like one fourth of an onion for the gravy because i'm making homemade gravy This much of an onion is enough. And it cooks fast, so always keep an eye on your meat too. Like, if you're a beginner, I recommend like having all this stuff like cut up before you start cooking your meat so that way you can just deal with one thing at one time. Like right now, kind of like I'm on a little time crunch because I gotta be at work at 12. I'm working 12 hours today, so I'm going from 12 in the afternoon to 12 at night. And like right now, it's probably like nine something. I know I'm not cutting it right, but you don't make it right. Thank you. 
okay, so that's what it looks like. This is the meat looking like right now. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Cause like I said, deer it really doesn't have any fat. While that's cooking, I can tell you about what AK did. Okay, so I come home from work. I think it was last weekend, right? And, you know, like I get off at midnight. So I come home and keep in mind, I took AK out like right before I went to work. I came home. This this is the only time, well, the first time she did, like I was in the house. But she just peed. But it wasn't the cage, it was like in the second room. But this time, when I came in the house, it's like a smell just hit me like boom. I'm like, what the hell? Look her. This girl that shit it everywhere in her cage. Like, shit was all on the floor. It was up against the walls, on the baseboards. How did shit get on the wall? How did the shit get on the baseboard? I said, damn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like oh my gosh like i did not go to bed until three o'clock that morning like i had to clean the walls i had to clean the baseboards i had to clean the floor like bleach everything down i had to give her a bath i had to clean the bathtub like i had to take a shower myself yeah i'm talking about you Boy, like that right there. That was my 13th reason. Anybody want a dog for sale? Then she gonna lay on my foot. Don't judge my toes. I know I need to take it. But you, yeah, like, bruh. You went to at the bubble goods, mama. You at the bubble goods. I'm pretty sure it was like a traumatic experience for her because like when I was cleaning the cage, uh, like it's a two door cage and like on the uh, one that was like on the small end, not the wide door. Like it's like two bars that's bent. So I think she was trying to like shoot her way out of the cage. Like, I'm sorry you had to sit in it, but I bet she won't do that again. I 
I really want to get some better cookware. Like, the skillets and stuff that I got now, I used it, like, when I first moved here, when I got it last year. Okay, it was just more convenient. So, like, now, like, I, I definitely want a cast iron skillet. Like, I can make so much stuff with that. And, like, now, I just want better cookware. Like, this is good cookware, but, like, it didn't last, like, only so long. Mommy, if you're watching this, my birthday coming up in October. So, last, was it last week? I think it was last week. Uh, we had, like, three snow days. And... Mm -hmm. We had like three snow days and I just been in the house. Like I didn't go nowhere. Well, Friday I did go to uh little Calvin. Calvin put it together. But that was about it. That was like the only time I went out. And like first exams are already starting like I already had two exams already I got like two more and it's like it's starting to get intense this semester like time is rolling in exams is that a potato growing out the sack it is a potato growing out the sack y'all Look. Yeah. My life is pretty boring. I ain't gonna lie. I really don't do nothing but go to school, go to work. And if I'm not at work, I'm at school. If I'm not at school, I'm at work. And if I'm not at both, I'm in the bed because I gotta I gotta get myself together. I be tired, like girl be tired mm -hmm. and it's just me and AK nobody else it's just me and you you're really looking at me crazy like, what the hell are you talking about Since Jeremy don't take long to cook, I would kind of like to pierce the middle, make sure it ain't pink nowhere. So that's six panos, one thing and now. We're going to add a little bit more oil because we're going to make this uh, gravy from scratch. So, yeah, pay attention. Oh, yeah, and also I turned the fire down to like low just so like the stuff won't burn because we're going to end up putting the patties back in the skillet and let it simmer you know then we're going to get a little bit of silk rice flour i'm going to get a spoon Thank you. 
stick to the spoon. Okay. Then we're gonna get some salt and oh y'all my voice cracking. Then we're gonna get some salt. Well this pepper. But we're gonna get this pepper and some salt. I'm sorry if y'all got high cholesterol and y'all watching this. Like before you add the patties back, just make sure that like it's brown. Like yo onions and stuff. Then we're gonna get a little bit of water. Then we're gonna get a little bit of water and just add a little bit at a time. I'm gonna turn the pie back up. Like if y'all can see, y'all can see it like thicken it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour to it. But y'all, it smells so good. I ain't doing a lot to you. self-rise flour because that's how you make it thick.
And don't that look good, y'all? You see how it's becoming thick? It's the filterized flour one. And like when you add water, just add a little bit at a time, you know. gravy stick enough and go ahead and let me add a little bit more water I'm gonna get too So now that that's it, I turned the fire on low. And I put the lid on here. And we're just going to let it simmer. Till the gravy get real thick. So now... We go ahead and start on... I really can use this as It's like I have little to no luck with can openers. Like, why am I making such a big mess? And I'm such a messy cook, too. Like, I just spill all this corn, corn juice.
No, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. <sighs> a little bit of pepper. And me personally, I like to add a little butter. I realize I never turned the pot on. Put that on me in the low heat. It's real easy to cook corn, y'all. Like, it's gonna burn it. Y'all like a little spicy. And then we could um potatoes. I'm not doing the um like the potatoes and like ooh, I thought the stand was gonna fall. I'm not doing the potatoes in the um like in the sack. I got some instant mashed potatoes that I'm gonna do because I don't have time for it right now. And I really need some more bowls. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I really don't even. Six tablespoons of butter. I use spoons. And I really don't even measure out the butter. I just scoop out a big ass glove. Mm -hmm. Clap. I really need to get some more butter. Gonna be a lot of salt, fam. Y'all, look at what my dumb ass did. Slow. So slow. Tablespoon. I'm trying to give y'all my blood pressure. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, this is a solid for real. Now I gotta put this back in the container. It's a long day, y'all. And the day hasn't even, barely even started. Like, I'm just tired. That's my excuse. I'm just tired. Okay. Now we need one cup of milk. I went grocery shopping yesterday. I don't even like going to stores and grocery shop anymore. Like, I just order that stuff online and pick it up because... For one, it'd be too many people in one place. And I'm already not a people person. So I just avoid that. And we got two cups of potato flakes. Really, the rest of this box. Good, because I need to get rid of this. Mix, 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 mix. So, this is what it's looking like. Yum, right? And that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up, get all this stuff in the trash. Until my 